Hi, thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Yesterday I did a video about reincarnation and in that video I was talking about what are soulmates and what are twin flames. So let's just rehash first what I spoke about yesterday in case you didn't watch it. I actually described using this um, whiteboard how we can have many lives at different times ha 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 different times but we're all at the same point okay so if you didn't watch that video yesterday I would suggest that you actually watch that one before today's because today's follows on from what I was talking about with reincarnation okay so what are soulmates and what is my personal opinion of twin flames now there's a lot of discussion out there because hello it is only a discussion because it's not proven anywhere right a lot of people suggest through their own personal experiences opinions and perspective that twin flames is actually when a soul can split in half I personally have a lot of issue with that I do not believe that a soul can split in 2, 4, 8, 16 or 10 billion, okay? I believe that every soul is unique and it is a part of those atoms that build up to what the magnificence of heaven is, okay? If you want to go scientific here, okay? So yesterday when I was talking about my um, timeline of decades where I was saying that we don't just simply die and then get reborn the next day because there's no time up there. What happens is that, is that we can actually have more lives in like the Linda life than um, just one. So let me just go there with what I believe because this is my own personal opinion. If you feel differently, if you have different beliefs or different options about what this is, please comment and let's start a debate about this or contact me at linda at lindaray.info so then we can talk about it because I'm still learning here and I only base my belief system on what I've seen when I went to heaven for like five years, okay? So what is my theory on what is a soulmate or a twin flame? It is when we have our soul that's our we okay our soul not just the linda life but my soul has been in different lifetimes which can then interact with the same time zones or timelines on earth so going back to this diagram that i drew yesterday here we are now in 2021 whoops up to here 2021 so what happens is that there's me like I drew yesterday but then we can have other lives here as well okay someone might I might have come back as someone born in 2010 so there's a child out there with my own soul so if I interact with that child who was born in 2010 so as of today's date they're 11 they could have been born as my child they could have been born as my grandchild, my niece, or my best friend or my neighbor, okay? So when we interact with these people, we get these chills. Now, when I say people, I'm talking human, like the Linda life, okay? I, um, I've i actually met people over my lifetime, and I walk into a room and there's just, you know with that feeling when you just walk in and there's someone there and you think, wow! I'm so attracted to that person they're so not suited to me at all but there's just some energy that's attracting me to them that other person in my belief is your soul inhabiting that body okay so when we have soul mates or twin flames because I doubt highly it's just two like a twin flame represents two. There could be millions of people living human embodiments right now that could be my soul 
okay so let's go there I don't know how many there are because part of our condition of coming to earth is that we do not remember anything prior to being born okay and that's why some kids when they're born they have inklings about their past lives and stuff but then they forget it because they're here in this three-dimensional plane that we live in in this dimension okay so what do I think about soul mates if you find that you do meet your own soul sometimes you get on but other times you can't stand each other so when you meet your soulmate or your twin flame it's not a guarantee that you're actually going to get along because it all comes down to our life lessons and what we assign during that life contract prior to our birth so let's just go back to this diagram actually damn no I will I'll use this diagram so yesterday I was talking about me remember I was talking about me I was the green line and I was born in 1966 right so imagine me the green line in Linda I meet somebody who represents this blue line when they're born sometime in my part in the past of this that I'm showing so I meet this person do you think we're going to get along no because I'll just call that other person Dale okay Dale Dale before his lifetime he actually agreed to his lifetime what his life lessons were going to be and he also assigned himself a life contract now imagine if Dale had agreed that one of his life lessons was to be generous now you know what generosity is you're giving out money to the homeless you're looking after your neighbors you're generous with your time you're generous with your finances you're generous with your love okay or your emotions now imagine me Linda I have decided before my birth that one of my life lessons is was that I wanted to actually learn how to be selfish oops so me Linda as the selfish life lesson do you think Dale and I would get along no way I'd have that attraction to him I'd feel that energy that spark that connection that pulse of um, attraction like a magnetism but when we meet and we start talking and Dale tells me all this generous stuff that he does and I'm sitting here learning how to be selfish we will not get on okay because our life lessons are not always positive so now let me go there how can somebody like Dale learn how to be generous unless he interacts with somebody who is selfish so then he can appreciate the value of being generous you starting to follow it now it's not always just about me the Linda life we go into other people's um, encounters yeah you know, we encounter other people so then they learn lessons from us as well as we're learning lessons from them it's always two ways so now let's imagine Dale he decided that before his birth in his life contract he wanted to be kind looking after animals being um, taking in your neighbor's rubbish bin after the rubbish guy takes away your rubbish picking up rubbish in the park he's kind and now what about if one of my life lessons was that I was to be born as inconsiderate we're not going to get on at all okay because he's got his own life lessons to learn in that progression of our joint soul it's our soul okay so here's our soul with its little octopus legs and right now he's living as himself Dale and he's also living now in the life of the Linda life okay so sometimes guys we do get on with our soulmates or our twin flames 
But don't ever think that there's only one out there for you. It hardly ever happens because of this timeline that I did yesterday where I explained there could be hundreds of my soul right now inhabiting other humans on this planet. Now, do you want a mind blow? I'll go there. How many of my soul is now inhibiting other humans? How do you know that you watching me today, we're not the same soul? Isn't that food for thought? Hmm. So comment below, guys, what you think. Tell me your thoughts. Email me, Linda at Linda Ray. It will come up shortly on the screen. Okay. Tell me what you think. Let's start an open discussion about this. Okay. Talk to you next time. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.